Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a quick video because I'm, I'm, uh, it's 2 a.m. and I'm not tired at all, so, uh, might as well do this. I'm just going to go with that theme of, uh, movies to watch when you're bored and it's 2 a.m. or any early time of the day when you're bored and stuff. So I got them all laid out right here. And I'm going to go through them. So I'll start with some of the more well-known ones. Um, you know, R Return of the Living Dead. You always want to watch this. This movie never gets old. Uh, instant replay value. Return of the Living Dead. Um, it's the Manitou has uh, Tony Curtis and Burgess Meredith. This is a favorite of mine. <laughs> it's silly. It's got like a, a dwarf comes out of a girl's tumor and it's got like ghost lizards and zombies and Burgess Meredith. It's, it's weird. Uh, <laughs> um, Evil Bong. Charles Band's Evil Bong with Tommy Chong. Uh, this has some cool cameos in it. It has Bill Mosley, Tim Thompson, and Phil Fondacaro as well as uh, as well as Tommy Chong, who only shows up for maybe 10 minutes at the end. Uh, actually, it's 6 minutes exactly, because OCD, I gotta remember what the amount of screen time are supposedly stars in it. Um, Living Dead at Manchester Morgue, aka Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. This is a very cool Italian, no, not Italian, Spanish movie. Um, it has Arthur Kennedy from Lawrence of Arabia in it. He plays a real jerk in it. He's the inspector. It's a really cool zombie movie. Living Dead at Manchester Morgue. Um, Eaten Alive. Yeah, Toby Hooper's Eaten Alive. With Neville Brand, Mel Ferrer, Carolyn Jones, Marilyn Burns, William Finley, Stuart Whitman, Barbara Collins, uh, Kyle Richards, and Robert Englund. Um, yeah, check this out. Cool slasher backwards redneck type movie. And then right here we have um, Corpses Are Forever, and I'm not sure if you can see it with this stupid webcam, but it was autographed by the director slash star Jose Prendes. Jose Prendes is a cool guy. You guys need to stop picking on him. He's really cool. Nice guy. One of the nicest guys I've ever talked to um, in the film. Uh, related independent film and all that. Um, it's got a cool cast. Richard Lynch plays the villain. It's got Debbie Rochon, Brink Stevens, Linnea Quigley, and Conrad Brooks. And Felicia Rose. Um, here's a more recent one. I'm sure you've all heard of it. It's uh, Hobo with a Shotgun. Everybody loves Hobo with a Shotgun. Well, it's not everybody. It's Everybody's got mixed feelings about this movie. I like it. I love Hobo with a Shotgun. Cool movie. See it. Um, oh, this one, everybody knows it. I only put it in it because it's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's not a horror or an exploitation movie or anything like that. It's The Big Lebowski. I just threw that in there because I love this movie. It's 2 a.m. and I'm not thinking right. Right here we have a little personal favorite of mine. It's uh, The Landlord, which is autographed by uh, the director, Emel Hyde. He also plays the motel clerk in this. He's funny. He's a cool guy, too. I talked to him a tiny bit. Nice guy. Nice guy, Emel Hyde. Um, right here we have Homesick, starring... Starring... He's in for like six minutes. Bill Mosley, Tiffany Sheppis, and Tom Tolles. I think you should, everybody should see this. This is a fun slasher. Might not agree to everybody's tastes. But hey, it's got uh, also it's also got Jeff Dylan Graham from uh, a bunch of independent horror films. And um, the director is very talented, Adam Wingard. I haven't watched his other stuff, but if it's like Homesick, then uh, it's like Homesick. Then I suggest. It. Sorry, DVD spell. Course, because I'm a moron. Um, yeah, but check out Homesick. Then we have uh, my favorite trauma movie. It's uh, Redneck Zombies. It's probably my favorite because it's the first one I ever saw. I saw it when I was 12 years old, and it stuck with me ever since. I bought this release at a at a CD store that used to be here. I miss it a lot. But it's got some cool features. It comes with the film soundtrack, which is always a good laugh. Check out Red Redneck Zombies if you like trauma. It's a great film. If you haven't seen it already, that is. And we're going to be doing a couple more trauma right here. We got The Toxic Avenger. Enough said. Everybody's seen it. Um, 
Chris Watson, who's also a very nice guy, who ta who talks to me very often, and gives lots of tips and helps me out quite a bit, is um directed this film, Zombie Geddon, which stars stars Frank Stevens, Tom Savini as Jesus Christ, Robert Zedar, William Smith, Felicia Rose, Joe Estevez, Conrad Brooks, Edwin Neal, Ron Jeremy, Jeff Dylan Graham, Technique, J.R. Bookwalter, Linnea Quigley, J a little stabs Julie Strain, and Lloyd Kaufman as the janitor. And be sure to look for Lloyd Kaufman in a new short horror comedy called Leading Out, coming out sometime in September. Hopefully. Then, speaking of Lloyd, he directed this film and also co-stars in it. It's Poltergeist, Night of the Chicken Dead. If you're a trauma fan, then odds are you've seen this. And if you haven't seen it yet, then you aren't a trauma fan. Then again, I have no right saying that because I haven't seen Terra Firma, I haven't seen Troma's War, and I have not seen, um, Class of Newton High. So yeah, who am I to, who am I to judge? House of 1000 Corpses, Devil's Rejects. Everybody knows those. Night of the Demons. It's a cool movie. Has Linnea Quigley. She puts a stick of lipstick in her breast. One scene, she just sticks it in there. It's a cool scene. Check out that movie. Got. I don't own Reanimator. I know. Shoot me. Uh, but from Beyond, Jeffrey Combs, Ken Foray, Barbara Crampton, directed by Stuart Gordon, based on a short story by H.P. Lovecraft. Very fun, very cool monster movie from the 80s. Um, then we have two favorites of mine. We have uh, the Andy Warhol flicks. We have Blood for Dracula and Flesh for Frankenstein. These both star uh, Joe D'Alessandro and the uh, great Udo Kier, who's a favorite actor of mine. Um, I feel like an idiot because I was supposed to grab some more stuff, so just let me reach over here to the shelf. I have a couple more things. Um, 2001, 2001 Maniacs, Robert Englund, Peter Starmare has a cameo, I love Peter Starmare, he's a favorite actor of mine, check that one out, um, I'm only going to pick ones I know people enjoy, well not know people enjoy, but that I know I can watch regardless of what mood I'm in, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2, I love this movie, everybody does, Dennis Hopper, fantastic, um, shit. Pumpkinhead. Everybody loves Pumpkinhead. Classic Lance Henriksen flick. Stan Winston directed it. Um, Fright Night. Remake's coming out. Don't know how it's gonna be. Probably gonna suck, but till then we got this to re remember the greatness that was the vampire genre. Um, Tales from the Crypt. And Vault of Horror is okay. This DVD messes up Vault of Horror horribly though. Morning you all if you don't already have it. Probably do, and I'm being an ass. Um, Piranha 3D is a cool movie, but Piranha, the original, Joe Dante. Chud. Chud's a cool movie. Um, oh, everybody does this, but Troll 2. Yeah, Troll 2. Why not? Um, Puppet Master movies. Yeah. Some aren't, some are really bad, but they usually tend to be very fun. Um, night's starting to catch up on me. Halloween 1's great, but Halloween 2 is worthy of the, uh, it's worthy of the late night genre sequel. It's got Bill Danning and, uh, Christopher Lee. I can't believe I'm forgetting Christopher Lee's, um, name. I should be ashamed of myself. Just give me a second here. Sorry about that. I just 
just killed a minute right there. Zombie strippers. I'm just gonna be naming them off now. Day of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. Night of the Comet. Uh, zombie Holocaust, Flesh Eater, and Burial Ground. Burial Ground. Not everybody likes these, but Zombie 3 and 4, 5 is crap. I don't care if Robert Vaughn's in it. I love Robert Vaughn. Chud 2, Bud the Chud. Great guy. I like him. But, uh. Zombie 5. Zombie 5, if you take this piece of crap and chuck it across the room. Um. However, Zombie. Zombie 3, Lucio Fulci directed Half, then Bruno Matei took over, and, uh. Zombie 4 with Stars Gay, Porn Star, uh, Jeff Stryker. Well, I guess that's all I'm going to do for this video. It was nice to do this, I guess. I haven't done a video in such a long time. I think my last video was um, uh, the Mary Hatchet uh, review with Bill. That was the Bill Mosley. I can't even remember that movie at this point. But um, I, remember kind of, I don't remember if I liked it or not. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got a little discouraged after that video. Um, but I'm going to try doing that a lot. And God quite a few DVDs coming in, um, and I'll be doing reviews for them, I promise. I know barely anybody watches these, but who cares? Uh, they're fun to make, I guess. So, uh, it's 2.17, I'm going to wish you all a good one, and uh, you know what, while I'm here, thank you, Mr. Parka, you're a great guy, and I hope nothing but good comes to you. Have a nice one.